Good evening. Welcome to the One Show with your host, Sumaira. Generally, people are uh, waiting for the elections now. They are eager to. Uh, they are very busy in their parties. They are busy campaigning for their parties. Well, I just want to say best of luck to them, and uh, hopefully something uh, better comes for the country and the people. We are going to discuss uh, the food and hospitality industry today. Uh, today we have uh, Mr. Uh, Rajesh uh, Suri with us. He is um, business development. Uh, he is in the hospitality industry for past 38 years, operating hotel and restaurant. And then we have uh, Mr. Uh, Daya Shankar Sharma. He is uh, a chef for the classical Indian cuisine for past 30 years. They both are uh, specialists in constructing the business, managing it, uh, processing it, and uh, developing a new business for you. They are open to new ideas. And uh, if, you, if anybody wants to open a business in this industry, they are, these are the people. Uh, they can help you from scratch to the end uh, and help you through all the process and uh, even opening your restaurant. Uh, let's welcome to the program. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would like to thank uh, the Venus TV uh, and, and yourself. Thank you. And it has been a pleasure to be here for me and my colleague, Mr. Sharma, here. Mm -hmm. um, and thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, tell us about yourself, your earlier age. Well, um, I have been in the hospitality industry uh, for around 38, 39 years. Mm -hmm. But I guess the passion for food came at a very early age uh, mm -hmm. in the childhood. Um, I had a pretty privileged childhood. Um, at home, we had few servants who would cook uh, food from different regions of India. And um, so it was, uh, and being the youngest in the family, mm -hmm. I was always around, you know, in, in and out of the house and always had a passion, to, uh, passion for food. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess uh, all those things, good food at home, uh, passion for it, um, seeing the hospitality at home as growing up. So, yes, up cheese a dek ke bachpan se hi. So, I developed my interest. Okay. Um, after doing my graduation, I did a, a hospitality degree, then uh, joined one of the five star hotels in Delhi. Mm -hmm. And I was, had a training there. And a uh, couple of years training as a management trainee, and then eventually I moved to Middle East. So traveled a bit. Okay. I worked in Middle East, and then I came to UK around 34, 35 years ago. Mm -hmm. Opened grand few hotels in London, mm -hmm. um, and then eventually 94, 95 was the year when the Indian restaurant industry was really booming. Mm -hmm. okay. I came into the scene, and that was the time uh, I moved into the restaurant business. Uh, since then, never look back. So it has been a great experience and a great pleasure right. so far. And down the year, we learned quite a lot, helped a lot of other right. people, and became instrumental in getting the Indian restaurant industry right to the top. So is it, it OK belonged. to say you are one of the pioneers in the in Indian food um, industry? I think that's for the people <laughs> to say that I am a pioneer. But I take okay. a great privilege, and I love helping people mm -hmm. uh, who are opening new businesses, um, you know, to encourage them. Oh, yes, the food is so important for everybody, everywhere, everywhere, everywhere in the world. You have to, you can't survive without the food. <laughs> yeah. Food is a, a substance where you can't resist without it. Yeah. Well, I think for the food, yes, mm. I, my knowledge is my passion. I love eating. But uh, when you have a people like Mr. Sharma, Sharma around yes. you. Tell us, uh, Sharma, sab, about yourself, about your childhood. Yeah, um, I'm from a very uh, popular city, like it's very heritage city of India. It's uh, Jaipur in Rajasthan oh, wow. and it's called Pink City. And uh, I born and brought up in a middle class family where, you know, mm -hmm. my mother used to cook for right. like entire family. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm uh, from a childhood, I, I used to see my mother, you know, how she cooks, how she balancing the spices mm -hmm. and how after she serving like uh, food, then how we are all uh, like appreciating that how mm. it's the, 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 that uh, moment when I was watching, then everybody praising my mother that, wow, what a beautiful. Yeah, yeah it's a process of it's learning, a process while, of learning. while so you're that's, watching you know, your mother. That is like, yeah. encouraging my, my uh, this thing, uh, that desire as well. That's like 
kind of passion for me. Mm. And uh, for me, food is not only passion, it's like a celebration for me. Oh, right. Uh, I am always, whenever I am cooking, you know, I am l feeling inside myself that I am celebrating Of something. course, you have to put love and yeah. effort into the food and that's, you're going to enjoy it and everybody else is going to enjoy it as Definitely. well. Definitely. And you know, that's what we are always saying that we love what our mother cooks. Yeah. How come that is? Because mother cook with love yes, and that's, that's what true. I felt that yes, whenever yeah. my mother used to cook, then she put so much effort, so yes, much love yes. into it. Wo se aapko wo khana dekke. Khana dekke. Then I learned in that way. So, uh -huh. you know, always whenever I am creating some new dishes, then also I am having the ideas that yes, how like I can implement some balancing of spices mm -hmm. still there is so many things which is like i learned in india i started mm -hmm. my career uh, in 1988 mm -hmm. i did my uh, graduation and mm -hmm. then i did diploma in cooking and mm -hmm. then i worked with uh, many five star hotels in india okay. i worked with uh, like two three top most uh, group of indias That's and good. then i was deputed from india to sri lanka as well i was there in sri lanka for four five years oh, okay spent there lots of time there also i learned like sri lankan cuisine and mm -hmm. i was i am always you know love to learn different kind of cuisine not only indian not only indian, but yeah. indian is core my core uh, you know the cooking you skills. guys are open to all the ideas isn't it well, yeah, one everybody's has to, welcome yeah. different strategies different combinations see food different has foods. no culture you remember right. food yes. has no culture mm. it is the way we cook the food mm -hmm. and everybody normally is very passionate about their own food that's right. Like Sharma yeah. ji is hardcore and extremely <laughs> passionate, and we've been together for the last 17, 18 years. Right. Um, and I find him extremely keen, very focused, very, very kind of visionary in creating. And then, mm -hmm. obviously, as he mentioned, that he has a heritage of um, you know Indian cooking and his experience from you know yes. working with various places, and also, mm -hmm. you know, he was, in, in my opinion, I think. Um, he undermines his own capacity. He's an mm -hmm. amazing chef and, and I have been in this business probably eight, nine years more than Sharmaji has been in. But you are, you are on the managing side? Or? I have been in the managing side also. I did train as a kitchen okay. trainee as well. So okay. I do have a good understanding of food. Uh, okay, right. So, right. but the thing is, I, you know, when you're managing a hotel as a general manager, mm -hmm. you have a different cuisine restaurants within the hotels, especially right. in India and Middle East and even in UK, there are, it's beginning to happen. Right. But the beauty is, when you work in, an, in a hotel environment, you end up seeing what people, what the different cuisine chefs does. Mm. So you do develop a taste and a palate for all the cuisines, and you're beginning to, because you're in a business, you're beginning to understand how it really works. Because right. having an Asian origin or Indian subcontinent origin, we both are very passionate about what we do. Right. And I remember the early days when the Indian food was it wasn't given the status what it deserved in, 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 in UK. In and yeah, that's what and I was going to ask you. Yeah. Like, why did you go for this well, kind of cuisine? Only? You see, uh, as I mentioned, because mm. of the restaurant industry, because of our passion, because mm. of the food, what we really love. And we, I used to see specifically that, you know, a lot of uh, other restaurants, this level of service is not as good as, or if not, you know, or it is in par with, the restaurants we were running mm. um, and, and our service is better, our food is better, yet Indian restaurant was never recognized by the Michelin Guide or by the AA Guide or by, by any of the top you know, awards mm -hmm. or, or top recognition. Right, right. Um, and I think that's something which really came into, you know, I, I was slightly taken back that why we are not being recognized. Mm -hmm. I was very fortunate that I was working with some really good chefs. Mm -hmm. um, so I kind of openly discussed with them that we deserve that status. Yes, Indian true. food deserve, that's really true. deserve that status. Yes. Um, so we kind of put our head and minds together. We visited all the top Michelin star restaurant in, in Mayfair and around London. Mm -hmm. And we realized we were not too far out. We right. were, in fact, in some ways, we were ahead than many of those mm. in, in certain areas. And we worked really hard. We wrote to Michelin. And in 2001, the two Indian restaurants were recognized by the Michelin Guide. Yeah, and it was one of us was, yes, I was running. Nice. So, yeah, so since then, well done, we are very fortunate. Mm. So we managed to create that platform mm -hmm. for us. 
uh, where chefs like Sharma Ji contributed to it immensely. Right. You know, creating the cuisine, maintaining it, quality, consistency, all right. those things. Yes. They, we, we did it together. And then eventually, now, for the last, I would say, 10, 12 years, yeah. we Indian restaurants have a great platform. Right. Today, we have six, seven Indian restaurants with a Michelin star. That's great. Yeah, and that's fortunately, great. they're all in London. Mm. Uh, how long you been working together? Well, we have worked together for almost 18 years. 18 years. Yes. Right, um, right. Sherma Ji has worked with me, uh, yes, around 18 years mm -hmm. uh, in a different outlets. Right. Um, so yes, and and now been working together for the past three four years now. Right, right. So you he manages the kitchen and everything, and you go and manage the other things. As yes. Well. well, I think I Sharma think ji plays a major part. You know, it is a teamwork. Yeah. It, is, it a is a teamwork. Team work, isn't See, it? Yeah. people go. Remember something which is very very important is the food. When people go talk about restaurant, first thing that come in their mind is the food. Mm. So, and that is the core part of anybody going out having a dining experience. Yeah. Right. Now, having Sharma Ji, I don't have to worry about having him at the back. The food will be coming out, will be always exceptional. You know, right. and, and on the other side, what you, you mentioned, uh, you know, there is, there is a, in creating a restaurant, there's an ambience part of it. Mm. There's a planning of how the flow of the service will run, how the bar will be managed, yeah. what the menu content should be, how you manage your health and safety of the back of house, how do you manage your staff, how do you train them, to what level. So all those things have, you know, there's too many moving objects mm -hmm. in creating a restaurant business. And as I said to you, kitchen is one of the vital ones, mm. is one of the most important ones. All the other objects, all the other, you know, uh, areas play a very, very important part in having a successful restaurant business. Yes, of course, the food is a very important part of it. Without the food, you're not going to do anything with the building. <laughs> and that's why I call this man, man with the golden hands. Oh, right, right. <laughs> what, what it takes to have, get a Michelin star? What do you have to... Well, I guess there's a combination of few things. In, in my personal opinion, um, looking at being there in part of as, as a Michelin operator, I believe it's, it's um, you know, the, the creativity or what you really do, which mm -hmm. has to be unique. Uh, that's number one. The quality of food has to be the highest right. uh, level of it. And then most importantly, consistency of the food. And then value for money for the people who are coming to dine, dine in your right, restaurant. Right. It doesn't matter if it's a five pound or hundred pound. So somebody who's dining in your restaurant should feel, whether he's paying 10 pound or five pound, that there is a value for right. value for that 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 so they got to take all these things. exactly yeah. and oh, right. and then right. same time it has to be consistent consistent yeah. and that's what uh, this man you, is all about how do you how do you keep the same consistency because you know it's always cooking like as i told you that uh, if you are taking it like a celebration mm -hmm. you you can like think lots of things that how i am going to make it happen and uh, it's not very easy to make it happen but how it can be like uh, we are cooking something which mm. is like very created something which is very new so when i what i learned that is what i am doing like i am measuring the things that yeah this is the dish which is i i am creating now mm -hmm. this is a very new dish and this is like taste wise look wise and the other part of aspect okay. healthier as well acha sabse pehle aapne kya sikha banana सबसे पहले सबसे पहले तो मेरी मदर पकाती थी उसको मैं देखता था तो दाल अच्छा दाल सबसे पहले दाल सीखा फिर उसके बाद में उन्होंने देखा अच्छा आपने सीखा है मतलब कि पूछा है कि ये इसमें क्या डालूं इसमें क्या डालूं मैं खुद या आपने देख के खुद बहुत ही हाँ नहीं मैं देखता था जब मदर कुक करती थी एंड उसके बाद में जब मुझे लगा कि नहीं मदर कुक करती हैं तो मैं उनके साथ रहता था क्योंकि because uh, as like Mr. Suri, at the, uh, he explained that yes, for a Michelin or for, for whatever like in the industry, if you are want yourself to be established properly mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. if you want to achieve something which is like, uh, you have to have some kind of goal for that. So mm -hmm. the food uh, is very important that you have to consistent your food regularly. And then I, I am always what uh, used to do that, okay, uh, setting the recipes for one uh, 
proper like what uh, recipe I am creating, the That's weightage, good. the grammage and all. That's good. Uh, very nice talking to you. Let's go for a little, little break and see you after the break. Welcome back after the break. I hope you guys are enjoying the show and you're enjoying their passion for food and you're getting so much information. Let's talk about your uh, um, travel from Kabul. You traveled from Kabul to Calcutta. No, it wasn't from Kabul to Calcutta. It was a journey, as you know. Yes. Um, there's a road called GT, GT Road, GT road. which is known as a Grand Trunk Road. Okay. I'll give you a little bit of history of, of this whole thing. Mm -hmm. Grand Trunk Road was built in 1600. Right. Uh, and it was an emperor, Mughal emperor, uh, by the name of Sher Shah Suri. Mm -hmm. Somehow my ancestor, because I'm Suri too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, that's a, something to discover. Yes. Now, Grand Trunk Road was considered, in fact, it was the first um, trade route built by a very visionary emperor. Um, and it started, well, is 2,500 kilometer long. In mm -hmm. fact, now today is 2,600 kilometer. So initially the road was built from Kabul to Calcutta. Mm -hmm. So from Kabul to Peshawar, Peshawar to Lahore, Lahore to Amritsar, Amritsar mm. to Delhi, Delhi to Agra, Kanpur, Varanasi. Wow. So going all the way West to, to West nice. Bengal. Yeah. And today it finishes to Chittagong, mm -hmm. which is in Bangladesh. So in, in reality, the Grand Trunk Road, known as the GT Road, cover mm -hmm. four nations, Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, as well as Bangladesh. Bangladesh yeah. So we were developing a concept, and we decided, we, done, we both of us had done various different concepts. Okay. So this was a concept which we were thinking that, let's do a bit of a more research on it. So me and Sharmaji, we traveled to India. Uh, that was in 16, 2016, early part of 2016. Right. Um, because of Sharmaji's relationship back in India, my relationship back in India, somebody assisted us, various cities. So we done a lot of homework here in the UK. Before Whose we, idea was that to do? Well, together. To, oh, in you, fact, you. the idea came to our mind on a motorway. We were finishing a consultancy <laughs> in Why Swansea. don't we drive as well and yeah, discover yeah. what's going on? <laughs> this idea was born 3 a.m. in the morning in a motorway while we were drinking coffee. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> coffee? <laughs> More, more, more vigilant, yeah, yeah, more aware of things. So yeah. we, we started from Amritsar. Amritsar is known to be um, mm -hmm. as Punjab, you know, food capital of Punjab. Punjab, yeah. yeah. And uh, so you get a lot of food from across the border from Lahore as well in Amritsar. And I'm sure it's vice versa. Vice versa yes. um, great kebabs, um, great small, you know, street food, etc. So Amritsar was our starting point, yeah. um, and we discovered that the, the butter chicken, so called such a popular dish, mm. was found in Amritsar. Amritsar. Oh, right. Not in, people talk about it in Delhi, in, Chandi, uh, in, in Moti Mahal. It was in Moti Mahal. Oh, we right, found right. out it was found in Amritsar. Oh, right, right. So okay. through our journey, um, you know, we, we traveled five and a half weeks, five and a half weeks to six weeks, yeah, I guess. Yeah, around six, six weeks. weeks. It took yeah. you and six weeks from yes. Kabul. No, uh, from Amritsar no, to Calcutta. Oh, right, right, okay. Calcutta. Yeah. Okay. So we, we, we did Delhi. Mm. Delhi, we both worked in Delhi. We trained in Delhi. Mm. Yeah. So we knew quite a lot about Delhi. So okay. we didn't need any assistance. Then from Delhi to Agra, Kanpur, then Banaras. Yeah. Banaras and getting... So the way the concept work in our understanding is kebabs and good curries, mm. north, northwest. Delhi has a Dastar Khan because Delhi was the capital of many Mughal emperors. Mm. So there's a lot of history of food. Yeah. Right. And I learned that from Sharmaji as well about a lot of contents. And then you find Varanasi, which is known as Banaras. Mm -hmm. um, Banaras is a, is, is a holy city. So there's a beautiful vegetable, vegetable selection, selection. selection come from there. Mm -hmm. And then Calcutta, which is the, at the end, which the biggest plus was that there is a coastal area, so there's a sea. Mm -hmm. So all the seafood oh, is, right, is, yeah. is, is yeah, in Calcutta. Yeah, it's very common, yeah. So I remember a few, few stories of our journey. I mean, apart from getting a lot of stomach, <laughs> bad stomach. <laughs> is it, would I say it's like a street food or you, would you go to some uh, three, four star hotels or Well, I think our, through our journey, we visited both. Both, we visited. Yeah, 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 I think street food is very street important. Street food is, 
you yeah. got to get the, the real taste in there, isn't it? No, without yeah. a doubt. You see, yes. street food evolved in India quite a lot. Yes, yes. The street food, what you used to get in India 30 years ago, it was quite limited. But Today, now, yes, of course. Wow. Yes, of course. You know, so so many doing so many different yeah. things. Yeah. They've created new ideas, they've yeah. different cuisines, everything is different. See, the, so, when, you, when you look yeah. at the food, the street food and the five-star hotel food, mm. Um, five star hotel food, Sharma ji can decide, tell you both sides of it because you know okay. he's, he's been in the Achha kitchen. Okay, you tell me what the difference is between a chart, jo hai, for example, we go to the street and go to the street and go to the street. What is the difference? Uh, the difference is there definitely mm -hmm. because you know on the street they are using like always it's like uh, have a different kind of uh, charts you can find on the street mm. like with chana you can find with potatoes mm. you can find with like Papi. on a on a on a yeah. hot plate they are cooking the patties and then they are making a chart yes, out yes, of it yes. somewhere if you go you can find the samosa chart as well there the samosa the break the samosa then they put yogurt on top so you can find on the street different places yeah, different, different kind different of recipes, charts you can yeah, find different. Meanwhile, on the five-star hotels, yes, there's a limitation, mm -hmm. but they, they are like creating something which is like, uh, it's more presentable. Yes, it's, it's more a big like place. A, yeah. You're it's getting a, uh, different things with slightly that. Slightly better yes. hygienic. Yes. Better, better, hygiene better hygienic better hygienic and all yes, that. Yes, yes, But the original test, as you say, is that <laughs> because the, you can get on the small places. Yes, yes, yes. I love that. <laughs> every day they are like making according to the like, they yes. understand that how much yes, uh, yes, the consumption true. will be. See, the street guy will be there. He'll make it when it's finished, he wrap up and gone. And he <laughs> is gone. Whereas in a five-star hotel, the, the beauty yes. is yes. you can get the same dish in the lunch, in the dinner, anytime. Anytime, and, and it's, yeah, that's it's, it. In, in comparison to that, you know, it'll be slightly more expensive. Yes. yes. Because you're sitting in an environment. S so serving plates and serving exactly. dishes are going to be different. Yeah, yeah, you've been getting yeah. served. Yes. Whereas here you'll be standing right. Stand, yes, right know. next to the ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so tell us, so. Uh, as you uh, both are in the food industry, uh, do you have, uh, you must, uh, yeah, do you cook for your families as well? Yes, lots of time. Because, you know, I, I don't like to cook at home because, you know, already I am spending so much time for uh, creating new dishes and, uh, you know, spending lots of time on it. So when you are going at home, then you are feeling to be relaxed, <laughs> but okay. it's still, you know, still, yeah, the, the, it's the yeah, wife the, and, yeah, the wife wives and are, Your wives are very lucky, actually, you're getting <laughs> <laughs> everything you. cooked for them. <laughs> so, you know, the children so keep asking me because they, they love to have different kind of, uh, like, uh, food uh, to restaurant be prepared style, by father, yeah, you know, yeah. and restaurant style, obviously. Yeah, yes. yeah, there uh, is a difference, of yes, course. Yeah, the home yes, style yes. is different, restaurant style is different, yeah, so and the flavors are different as well. Yes, even it? I like, you know, whatever my mother cooks, mm. my wife cooks. But for the children's, even my yeah. wife like what I am cooking. Okay. So the, the, there is a, then, <laughs> then you should cook every time. <laughs> or take a takeaway. <laughs> so the so, biggest thing is that the food you have made is good. Good. Yeah, that's true. You get more flavor. Flavor comes. Okay, so uh, this journey ke dauran, uh, during this journey, uh, you must have gathered so many ancient recipes. Without a doubt. Without without a doubt. Spices. Yeah. Your knowledge must have uh, boosted. Yeah. So tell See. us about uh, tell us you yeah. tell us about the spices. Ab spices ke baare mein bataye. Aisi kaun si spices hain jo different different places pe different different jagah pe use hoti. Ah, different. Dekho, kya hai ki main jab uh, jab uh, shuru se India mein jab uh, ye recipes develop karne ka shauk tha, purani recipes dekhi, uske andar kuch aisa hai ki ye health के लिए बहुत ज़्यादा beneficial है जैसे lots of spices like uh, peepli in Indian language there's a long peppers Achha. I'm using here in London according Achha. to the palate of British people okay. and you know the timur there's the kind of pepper Achha. that is different kind of pepper it's very sharp in taste mm -hmm. then other uh, one spices uh, there's the old time अभी देखो आप मैं आपको जैसे बता रहा था की ये जो आपकी ये है कबाब चीनी कबाब चीनी ये राउंड एक स्पाइसेज है उनको आप अगर भिगोए ये when you are eating, then also it's good for your health, but still like you can uh, infuse your tea with that. Like mm -hmm. if you are putting uh, that kebab chini in your uh, tea, then you can have it, it glows your skin. Oh, right. It's good for your digestion. Mm -hmm. It's good for your 
is even is good for your uh, cancer caring as well. Oh, okay. So like of course, yeah, there is people, so many yeah, like so that, like yeah. people, I told you the long peppers. Mm -hmm. This is good for like our stomach mm -hmm. ache. This is stop like your diarrhea. So uh, stopping your fever. Mm -hmm. So these all spices, what I did, I blend them together, made a, a, a combination of that spices according to the British, uh, you know, uh, people. Mm -hmm. So and still they can get a benefit, uh, benefit of from them. Uh, from okay. them yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, every no, spices and every uh, they have got charas different, yeah. we use, in, See, they have the definitely health effects. The medicine yes, values, me yeah, all of them, value, they have yes, got a yes, medicine yes, values. But apart from the yeah. normal spices, yes, huh. these spices are like little, uh, uh, like very old time mm -hmm. spices, you can so say. So, you have recipe uh, discovered <coughs> on, your, uh, on your journey, which you thought, oh my god, this is totally different. There is a recipe that I remember very simple. Si this is a seafood. It, it's more to do with light eating and healthy eating. Uh, we were in Calcutta mm -hmm. and we were sitting in a five-star hotel without mentioning the name. Mm -hmm. And we were the guest of the executive chef. And there were a couple of ladies who were sitting there. So when they heard us that they were in the past five weeks on the road, they were telling us about the recipe of Banaras, the recipe of Delhi, the recipe of Kanpur, the recipe of Amritsar. So they asked us, this is a very big job, what are you doing? We are also doing research, we can do something else about this. So they invited us. And we went to their house and there was a dish which Sharma Ji recreated when we got back to London. Uh, it was a baby squid which was stuffed. So, stuffed baby squid. So, Very nice. Usse, usse we found out that the fish trailers that come out, the fish that comes out, the fish that comes out, the fish that comes fish odd fish that comes out, the fish that comes out, the fish that comes out, the फीस्ट है वो लोग घर ले जाके उसको चॉप करके टॉस किया मस्टर्ड सीड करी लीव के अंदर थोड़ा नींबू डाला गार्लिक डाला और उबाल के राइस खा लिया तो मैंने शर्मा जी ने मेरे को बताया कि ये रेसिपी मैं खुद डेवलप कर रहा हूँ तो इन्होंने ये रेसिपी यहाँ पे आके डेवलप करी इतनी बढ़िया स्क्विड बनाया इन्होंने चॉप किंग प्रॉन क्या क्या डाला आप उसमें चॉप किंग प्रॉन एंड फिश एंड योर दिस थिंग क्रैब मीट इस देयर तो वो तीनों चीज मिलाके हमने वहाँ पे उसका करी खाया थोड़ा ड्राई था तो मैंने इधर सोचा कि क्यों नहीं हम स्क्विड के अंदर इसका स्टफ करके एंड आई नेवर सीन यू नो स Squid I never heard of actually stuffed, uh, stuffed, stuffed squid, squid which is like cooked in clay oven. In, in, in so we could marinate kiya and then I tried myself that how it will be. Then yeah. it was fantastic. Squid thoda sa hard ho jata. Hard ho jata but you have to know yeah. the time. Yeah, you have to know what time to go. Yeah. But yes, the most the interesting thing yeah. he created with it was a mango salsa to go achha, with it. Achha. So uski sharpness ko kaatne ke liye mango salsa hone banaya with fresh coriander, green chilies, raw mango, hmm. cooked mango chutney. It Achha. was really, really, really brilliant. Nice. Apart from that, I think there were a few other incidents we, we, we tried in Delhi. In fact, we tried some kebabs. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, there are certain places in old Delhi, mm -hmm. without having to mention the names, there are some beautiful uh, places. But what we found that that food is slightly aged. Mm -hmm. Aged in the sense that it follows the still old you know, traditional, traditional recipes, recipes yes. whereas yeah. people used to eat those recipes mm. and uh, all those dishes, mm. but they were physically heavily involved in the work, so they were able to digest those. Whereas what I find, That's the cuisine true. we have developed in UK, mm. um, you know, wherever we have worked and wherever our, our uh, contribution has been, um, Sharmaji and me, we've always been very, very careful to develop something which is light, Yes. And you think about the food values of it and also think about the culture we are living in. Yes. So no. all these things have been extremely important yeah. now, for us. Nowadays people are talking about healthy eating. Exactly. Yes. Less exactly. eating and uh, I think nutrients has to be there if it's even less. See, I will tell you another thing about Sharma Ji. These people who make kebab, they don't put any cream or yogurt in any kebab. They have all the marination of their marination. Okay. So when you hang the kebab in the kebab, you hang the kebab in the kebab. So, all the fat content is also in the fat content. That is the first one. So, I know them more than them. 
घी और ये सारी चीजें ये क्या हेल्थ में आती हैं ये क्या लोग पुरानिक जो देखो लोग कुछ भी आप खाएं तो बहुत ज्यादा इसके ऊपर कुछ भी आप खाएं रीजनली रीजनेबल अमाउंट में देखो घी क्या है कि घी हेल्थ के लिए खराब नहीं है अभी कुछ समय पहले पांच छह साल पहले इंडिया में एक बहुत पॉपुलर शेफ रहे हैं ताज में थे उन्होंने इसके ऊपर रिसर्च किया उन्होंने रिसर्च किया है उन्होंने ये जानना चाहा कि सब लोग बोलते हैं कि घी अच्छा नहीं है हेल्थ के लिए लेकिन उन्होंने उसको प्रूव किया कि नहीं अगर आप एक एक दिन में 50 ग्राम घी अगर खा लेते हैं तो आपके हेल्थ के लिए बिल्कुल खराब नहीं है क्योंकि आपको थोड़ा सा तो Uh, let's talk about uh, if somebody wants to go into the business, what their first <coughs> steps should be. Um, restaurant business, mm. if you're particularly thinking about it, mm. um, first of all, I would uh, say that one has to think about it twice, like any other business you go to. Mm -hmm. um, restaurant business is, which is, in, in my opinion, I've been in so many years. Uh, according to my opinion, I find it it's not an easy task, all right? Like any other business, but there are too many moving objects. Mm -hmm. um, as a businessman, if you want to go into this, you have to think about it. You have vision has to be very clear. Right. You want to open a restaurant. What kind of restaurant? Is it going to be a fast food? Is it going to be a fine dining? Is it going to be somewhere in the middle? Is it going to be a specific cuisine or specific region? Now. All these things have impact on how you're going to do the rest of the element. Mm. So if it's a fast food, your concept will not require a heavy investment. Right. If it's a fine dining, it will require a much more investment. Right. So you've got to have a look uh, you at got your own to... finances first of all and then exactly. your mind yeah. and everything. If you're investing your own money or you're borrowing from wherever you're borrowing, mm. um, it is very, very important to have your vision very, very clear. Mm -hmm. So if you want to go, so for instance, fine dining, and that's what mm -hmm. I would take as, as an example. Yeah. You have to look at the kind of cuisine you'll be doing, mm -hmm. which region, yeah, or what important. area. Yeah, it's very important. Area is important. It's Without like a doubt. Location. Without you, a doubt. Who, who, so, which people live there, the yeah. majority. Or. In fact, you will, according to your cuisine, you will decide the location. Right, because right, if right. you're going to open a, 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 you know, a, a chart bar hmm. or something really lower end, you will not be financially able to support the rent and rate that's if you're right. going to go yeah, to Mayfair. Yeah, 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 that's true. So there are a lot of things one has yeah, to really to, consider. Yeah, so, ek to cuisine aapki, location, mm -hmm. then who is the person who will be cooking behind the chef, which is the most important one. Then your comes the interior of the restaurant then you have a pr aspect of it who's going to promote your restaurant today archi date my social media is involved mm -hmm. of it then on on the cost side you also got to look at what is the capacity you need to have within the restaurant to be able to make some money right, right. so at the end of the day it's a business so there are so many moving it's a objects. risk Involving anything. Well, every business is a risk. Yes, that's right. But every the business. fact is, I, you know, there are, I'll move slightly away from what the question. Mm. If you look at it, I, my personal advice would be to any new business opener that work in the business mm. for at least eight to ten years, gain some knowledge and gain some, not only the front of house, gain the back, back of house down, knowledge yeah. as well. How does the financial model has been done. Right. How do you cost your food and beverage? Mm. How do you, how many staff would be more than enough? Mm -hmm. How do you create the flow of service? Yes, of course. How is the kitchen design? Of course. What kind of food you're going to mm. be cooking? Mm -hmm. So all those things, every single thing, there are too many moving objects mm -hmm. in opening a restaurant. And you've got to be the part of it as well, isn't Not it? Only you can't that. just open a restaurant and go somewhere. You, no, you have no. to be the part you of it, have, isn't it? It is a passion. Yeah, it's a passion. Well, you yeah. can, it's not that you tie up in a business, you have to be there. If you look at big chains, mm. do you think the owners are there? No. no. So you have to create a system. That's it, yeah. And the system, so which, which will work on its own, mm. and then you have a key position members within the organization who are responsible to the bosses, 
who are responsible. To, but I still would advise that any business you go, especially when you're going to rest in business, you must need to learn the business first. Okay. First, so you do understand yeah. the core values of the business. Yeah, you got to gain the experience exactly. into the same yeah. industry, and then you can. अभी ट्रेंड चेंज होते हैं यू नो एंड आई ऑल्सो वुड से सॉरी आई ऑल्सो वुड से दैट कम अप विद आई हैव ऑलवेज सजेस्टेड टू पीपल दैट कम अप विद समथिंग विच पीपल नो बट इफ यू मेंटेन हाईएस्ट क्वालिटी ऑफ द प्रोड्यूस हाईएस्ट स्किल सेट इन प्रोड्यूसिंग दैट क्वालिटी कंसिस्टेंसी पीपल विल पे गुड अमाउंट ऑफ मनी फॉर दैट राइट राइट यू नो नाउ आई � People well, are going into more into different smaller. See, there is nothing of, wrong. Creativity, yes, you yes, cannot as stop. As long as you're getting the right innovation, nutrients, yeah, that's yeah. fine. Innovation, yeah. you yes, cannot stop. So, what you create is at the end of the day. That's what really matters. Okay, let's talk about uh, our setup in the kitchen. How it should be. Yeah, kitchen, you know, always is a major part of restaurant, yes. as we all know, yes. because people comes to the restaurant for food, and if your flow of uh, like equipments flow of uh, working chefs mm. is not right then you cannot like pick up the food on mm. time so these are the main factors when we are like set up a kitchen like suppose you have to know that yes what kind of menu i am making if your menu is too big you have something for grill you don't have space to keep the grill there Mm. Then why you are keeping that grill, grill yes. item in that menu? <laughs> you have to bring if, the grill every yeah. time. Up. <laughs> if 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 like if you have something which is like fried, yeah. definitely you have to have fried there. So you have to have an idea that what the space I, I am having, and, and the things you need to yeah. masalas and yeah. all the spices and other things, so, isn't it? It so has to be yes. near. So you always, can't be running around and getting the spices and coming back. Yes, so see, everything yeah. has yeah. to be like online. On, okay. If if like you made a menu which mm. is like very good looking mm. but still you have to f my thinking mm. first do the menu according to your kitchen space mm. if your kitchen space your equipment your needs all is set then you can create a menu according the size of kitchen mm. this is very important otherwise there is and uh, anybody wants to open a restaurant or go into this industry and you are specialist in uh, designing Yes, we, yes, we, we did have, lots of We have everything. worked together for yes. many we, years, as I said to you. We probably opened around 10, 15, 10, 15 restaurants, restaurants around England and uh, for many, many big, big people in, mm. in, in uh, Wales, in Midlands, right, in right. All down over south. The, and okay. Like Mr. Suri, he, you know, we, we travel together a lot. As like we say is that, mm. yes, this plan was Traveling made. Traveling so, stories, you have met a lot of people. Yes, you have met a lot of people. Some memories have been created. There was one big memory that doesn't leave me oh, alone. Okay. Was, but, um, <laughs> we are changing the subject from moving away. Yeah. We had a lot of time stomach upsets yes. because the thing is, you know, when you live in England, oh, yeah, your stomach, right. your body is used to something very, syst very different clean, system. Very clean, probably. Yeah, very, very clean, clean system. environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, mm -hmm. um, you know, you, you, you find that, um, you know, sometimes you are slightly hesitant. And I think after a week or two weeks, we learned. We were very, very, very careful where we sat down. First, we looked around. <laughs> we very cautious yeah. about, yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, let's talk about developing uh, a business into this <coughs> industry. See, um, as I, I mentioned is, is there any age group, uh, age limit to that or? Uh, as, I, as I mentioned to you earlier, mm. you always need some experience within, within this field. Okay. Um, this field, as I said, there's a lot of moving objects. So. One has to have, number one, I always say, whether you open a restaurant business or whether you go into a bar or whether you open a showroom, mm -hmm. if you have a passion for what you do, That's very passion true. is the key of any business success. That's, that is true. So mm. initially, you have to have a passion. When you're passionate, you're innovative. You're innovative. Simultaneously, you're also very close to your buyer. Mm -hmm. You're also listening to the consumer demand. Because you're passionate, you want to make a success out yes, of it. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And you really understand the need of the people, what they're telling you. Mm -hmm. It's not that every time somebody tells you to change something, you're going to jump and change it. Yeah. No, it doesn't work. Yeah, but I don't so understand. You, okay. you collect the majority, a major idea of what people really want. Mm -hmm. Secondly, remember there are, which are the core factors of this business is, if you have a quality produce, 
and a high skill chef and a good service manager, mm. I think things fall into place much more quickly. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, but then, as you said, open a new recipe. Yes, you, you can go into any business you want to, but the areas one has to really, really right. be very, very careful, which you really need to consider right from the beginning. Mm. Understanding a market, where your location is going to be, is mm. going to be the, according to your concept and according to the need of that area. area. Okay. Secondly, what produce you're going to have. Thirdly, how accessible you are. Can people yes. get there? Is there any parking mm. available? Is it on a high road? All those things matters. To, to make okay. a business success. So, your jo recipes hoti hai, wo aap follow uh, ek recipe likhe, wo hi follow karte hai, Do you like to add different experiences and do you want to experiment different Haan. things in them? No, definitely different, 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 different recipes. Karke dekh le. Dekho, heritage recipes we hmm. already have already. We want to make something interesting. We want to put some food values in it. We want to put some impressive in a plate when you are putting Haan, look, on a plate. Uh, uh, yeah, attractive on a plate. Food has to chahiye. be attractive <coughs> as well. Yeah. So, if you do all these things, if you have seen heritage recipes, we have made a masala of chicken, we have made a lamb shank, but with that, you have to think what you are thinking. Like now, a little bit earlier, Suri Sahib said that I have a dish created, उसके अंदर स्टफ yes, करते yes, थे हम एंड yes. तंदूर में उसको पका के स्क्विड को और उसको किया वो, वो बहुत ज्यादा पॉपुलर डिश हुई वैसे ही मैं हमेशा स्पाइसेस के साथ में ऑलवेज यही मतलब मेरा दिमाग चलता है कि क्यों नहीं हम इस चीज को इस स्पाइस को इसके साथ कंबाइन करके देखें और स्पाइसेस का नॉलेज होना बहुत जरूरी है अगर आप शेफ हैं और आपको द कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ स्पाइसेस इफ यू डोंट नो लाइक अगर आप सब्जी बना रहे हैं भिंडी और उसके अंदर आप स्टार एनिस और इसके अंदर सिनेमन स्टिक और इसके अंदर अगर वैसी चीजें डाल देंगे तो वो नहीं होती तो आपको जैसे लैम के साथ में क्या बेस्ट कॉम्बिनेशन है सो एज अ शेफ यू हैव टू हैव अ नॉलेज ऑफ स्पाइसेस व्हाट गोस वेल विद व्हाट and yeah. the combination और आपके अंदर भी एक फ्लेवर का भी होना चाहिए आपको पता होना चाहिए कि आप कौन सा हाँ आप कौन सा फ्लेवर देना चाहते हैं अभी क्या होता है कि हम बहुत से शेफ होते हैं आ, अच्छा खाना बनाते हैं लेकिन ये नॉलेज जैसा आपने बताया कि होना बहुत जरूरी है कि कितना अगर मैं एक ही चिकन करी बनाई और उसके अंदर if I put like star anise in that even cinnamon is there clove is there cardamom is there so all flavor is there so when we are eating we don't feel any flavors I because know, the totally is confusion. So, confusing. Uh, as you have set up, uh, have a restaurant and everything, uh, do you uh, uh, just have a set menu or you create new, uh, after a while you create new new dishes as new well? New dishes as well, like we, we, we are making, it's totally depend that mm -hmm. how, where are you and what kind of restaurant is. Oh, okay. okay, as like you are having like, uh, five star kind of restaurant like mm. you are having fine dining restaurant you are having street food concept restaurant you are having somewhere middle of that so then you have to have some kind of different changes people are looking for change oh, definitely okay. always but as like you are having a good restaurant you have to have some different menus as well like you, you have to have some special menus which is like they can f come and feel and enjoy the whole evening okay. like seven courses menu okay See, would you like to advise people who are already having an existing uh, businesses like that or uh, opening uh, thinking of opening a new ra uh, business like that what advice would you give them i guess one mm. has to be true to mm. their profession uh, do things properly um, and do things the way they're supposed to be done uh, do not compromise on the quality of your food, of your service, and also um, the, the consistency and quality are the two major components. Um, rest, your social media, all those things nowadays, people will do that for you uh, because if they enjoy the food, they'll talk good about you. If they don't enjoy, they, they don't say anything yes, good about you. Right. So mm. one has to be mm. true to its concept and in your own consciousness, you have to be 100% sure that what I am doing, I'm doing it to the best of my ability. As long as you do that, you will never regret mm. and you'll always be successful. So you must have cooked for celebrities and uh, yes, all I did those a lot. big people. Yes, when I was in India and uh, used to work with uh, like five star hotels always and uh, spend mm -hmm. lots of time with very good chefs of India, mm. very popular chefs of India. Okay. And uh, I got a chance to uh, uh, to get like in Saak Summit, 
यूज टू मीट काफी बड़े बड़े लोगों काफी बड़े बड़े लोगों से काफी प्राइम मिनिस्टर डेलीगेट्स ऑफ लाइक ऑफ द डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंट्रीज अच्छा आप क्या एडवाइस देना चाहेंगे जो एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेसेस हैं जिनके या जो ओपन करना चाह रहे हैं उनको किचन की फील्ड में या कुकिंग की फील्ड में एज अ शेफ उनको क्या एडवाइस देना चाहेंगे देखो किचन के लिए मैं सबसे पहले यही एडवाइस देना चाहता हूँ कि जो अगर आप जिस तरीके से आप पहले सबसे पहले तो आप ये देखें कि आपका किचन का स्पेस कितना है दूसरा आप देखें कि आप किस तरीके का कॉन्सेप्ट बनाना चाहते हैं आपका किस तरीके का खाना आप देना चाहते हैं और उसके बाद में आपको ये देखना है कि मेरा जो किचन में जो फ्लो होगा सर्विस का जो शेफ्स किधर खड़े रहेंगे तंदूर किधर होना चाहिए तंदूर के पास में हाथ धोने के लिए सिंक किधर होना चाहिए और हमारे जो दूसरे कुकिंग रेंज पे शेफ्स हैं वो किधर खड़े होंगे किधर क्या होगा तो सर्विस किस तरह से पिकअप होगी खाना किधर से किधर आएगा सो so ये सारी चीज़ें दीज आर द ऑल वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स विच इज़ लाइक बिफोर स्टार्टिंग अ बिजनेस दीज थिंग्स यू हैव टू एनालाइस इन एडवांस दैट यस हाउ माई मेन्यू विल बी हाउ द किचन फ्लो विल बी एंड वेयर माई इक्विपमेंट्स एंड ऑल विल बी कमिंग Yeah, and then I think it's a team work as well. You go to find the right team. Yes, very passionate, very faithful people yes, to well, work with yes. you. Yes, I think it's yeah, very, very important. It's very important. important. I think yes. if the other okay. thing which I will add to what Sharma ji said is yes. that it is important that mm. you know you have a regular training, ongoing training. and and that's where you maintain the quality and consistency right. yeah. thank you very much uh, for coming uh, to the studio thank and sharing thank you for inviting us thank you and sharing your experiences with us your journeys your passion for food thank you very much mr sharma thank you so much really nice to meet yeah. you and uh, hopefully viewers you must have enjoyed and uh, you must have learned some skills and if you want to go to the business uh, uh, you must have uh, received enough information from uh, our uh, respectable guests and thank you very much for watching take care bye see you next time